Hey guys, RC here, back with Mist Survival Episode 3. Alright, so I've made it back to the base camp. Took me a little while to get through the day. I did not have a hard stick to carve me out a spear. I didn't have tree branches. It was, you know, it's always good to have something you can do to pet that'll pass time uh, to get through those mist quicker. Alright, we do have that. I've got a battery right there. We're going to go ahead and fill the tank. All right, so we've got almost eight liters of gas and everything but the engine. All right, so let's get off of here. And let's make a run for the White House because the military base right next to it is pretty much... A place I know that will have it. All right. So this road, I think this is the way. We don't want to go up the road because that goes up to the bandit camp. And I'm just going to pick me up a bunch of branches on the way just in case I need them. And I will need them at some point. Well, Feathers are good, too. Oh, there's that hard stick that I need. Wow, this is a nice little area for feathers as well. All right. You don't want to go too far out. You want to kind of skirt this little trail by the mountain. It's exactly where I want to be. There's a bandit camp right over that way, but you know what? There is a place we want to run down to over here. So there are, I don't know how many, but there are three or four of these little starting zones. And they all have stuff. And they all have a bag for inventory. So we're going to knock all that out. Now, I am going to carry this with me. I can't take that with me. Oh, bummer. All right. That's all right. We do have a small trailer over here. We're going to come see what's hanging around. All right. Nothing up here. Nothing there. There is a bag in there. Nice. So that's four slots. All right. Now, I think the bandit camp's that way, and the White House is right there. So you know what? We'll come hit these guys later. There's zombies in that house, and you can hear them. During the daytime, they will not come outside, and if they do, they will not come very far. You remember down on this road somewhere, they used to have the base camp that had the the uh, the chicken coop already there? I always wanted to build there, and now it's not in the game. I miss that, and I miss the farm. That building right up there, that's the bandit camp, but this is the White House, so that's a quick shortcut right around the edge of those mountains there. Also, just like anywhere else, when you get into an area, always want a place that you can get away from zombies. If you climb up the water tower, you can hang out up here. You can sleep up here. And it's all good. Don't fall. And sometimes we used to find, in the older release, we used to find one of those SWAT team helmets up here. I guess they took that out. All right. Now... We'll come back here and loot this place. They used to have, an, sometimes you'd get an engine in here, but it's always been empty ever since uh, the release. But we are wanting to go up into this military base. Because all I am looking for today is the engine. Once I have the engine, then we'll start coming back and looting cars and everything. 
Uh, I don't even need the tire that's here. There's usually a tire right there. I will grab it though. I've got room. And this, let's see. We're just going to kind of loot everything, right? While we're here. So nothing in that locker. Sometimes you can find stuff up on there. We'll come, ooh, hello, baseball bat, rifle ammo, another bag upgrade. A single 12 gauge shell. All right, and it should be right in Don't miss the ammo. The ammo's laying up there it is right there. Another gas can. Don't really need it, but we might want it later. And now I have the freaking engine. I don't usually see anything out there. We combed through those. And that's it. Oh, hello. That's actually really nice. I don't think I want to put the engine in there. But... And I've never found anything in these drawers all right so we're going to take this and we will drop this off I just try to bring everything out where they're convenient so we'll do that There's a water bottle up there. Those come in handy. You can make them, but if you can find them for free, why not take advantage of it? All right. Now, yep, there's two lockers in that one. So that's the last place I want to go. Nothing, nothing. All right, neither one has anything in it, but that's okay. These will come in handy, and these will be great because these are empty already. I will use these as the storage in our truck to get started. And the goal here is to go ahead and get back to the base now, and then we can figure out where we actually want to build. We've got the walls already outside, so we have a safe zone at that place. Uh, I am a little hungry. Let's eat and drink. And then we do we did find another bottle of water, so let's drink till we have our fill. We've got a little bit left in there, so that's fine. And then that'll be the next step, I think, is to go ahead and We've got our car. We can start doing uh, gathering. I will need to get out to the mine to be able to make a sledgehammer. You know, there's always something to do, and that'll be the priority to start farming these cars. All right, and you know what? I think I'm going to take this back with me. And let's go ahead and head back to the camp. What time is it? It's uh, 2.30, so yeah. We did have the mist earlier, so we should be fine. No more mist today. Uh, just a few logistical things. If you go up that road right there, there's a bandit camp with a sniper tower. Uh, that house is empty, and you can usually find a little bit in there. These two houses both have zombies in them. But there is a water supply right there to be able to get water. And that'll be one of my priorities right now. Don't want to get too near the door. Don't want to entice them out. 
they can come out. They will take uh, sun damage, but you know, not always going to be the end of the world. Uh, they, if they get close enough to you, they can hit you, and if they hit you enough, they can kill you. You have been warned. All right, so our stamina is dead. Now would be a good time to drink something, make some sticks for about 10 minutes, but otherwise we're just going to walk our way through here. Oh, you know what? I'm going to grab another stick there. And again, we're just following the mountain. That camp is right over there, that little uh, starting camp. So each time you play the game, you're at a random starting location. So could be that one. All right, we've got a little stamina here, so let's go ahead. And there's another bandit camp, I think, off to the up there. I'm not sure what's up there. I'll have to go check that out. All right, that's the camp. That's the little building at the head of the road. So if we come in at an angle here along the mountain, we should get to the back of our there's our truck I see it ahead of us and the one thing I was not able to find uh, last in my solo save there are three watchtowers uh, like ranger cabins up in the mountains I found two of them I could not find the third one but Oh well, and it's the big one. It's it's where there's usually a one or two bears. Oh, you know what? Let's get this bad boy put together. All right, we're gonna drop the engine. That does take 20 minutes. After you get out, just kind of poke your head, look around, make sure things have not gone uh, very bad. And uh, I'm gonna go ahead and. Uh, Fill the tank with that gas, and we'll fill this tank. And then we'll have an empty gas can to carry with us. We'll have an empty one that we can, actually, you know what? We can leave that one in the truck now because we'll be driving around. So we're good to go. The engine's a little beat up. Battery is perfect. We've got our best spark plug in there. By God, we can get in. And we have... Mobility. Awesome. Awesome. All right. Well, let's go get set up in here. Because I don't know if this is where we're going to stay long term. It might be. It's a good starting base because you, are, you, know, you don't have anywhere for people to live. But this is where I built last time. And uh, what I did is I had uh, a cabin right here. I put a cabin right here. I built walls around this corner out to here. And then I had a cabin. So we had a little walkway right here. And then I had a cabin with the door like right here coming out into this little courtyard that I had closed off with big walls. And then I had put on the back of this cabin, I had put another cabin with the door facing out this way. And then what I did is I built walls off the back of that and then into this wood pile and I used this as a basically a pre-built wall and then we built across from here all the way to the corner there and we we left a little cutout that we had like a little kill zone that we made with the chicken wire so they could walk in and we could stabby stab them but uh being that I just built here last time, I don't think I want to do that again. It is nice because it does have the uh, the forge here. Oh, that is something. Mm. You know what? Since I'm pretty sure we're going to move, right? I'm going to go ahead and put these in my truck. All right, we're going to drop it right there. Because we want to get we want to get everything out. 
in place. So this one we're going to come around the back side. All right, I need to grab hold of it again. Drop it inside. That'll work there. And then this one. This is going to be for inside storage, so we're just going to drop it inside there. You know what? Um, I'm going to turn it sideways. There we go. All right. We've got that. And we will put that right right there. All right. Now that what we can do is we can go ahead, I think I'm going to leave the chicken wire for tonight. I think that'll stay there. And then this one we will put on that side. Now let's hop in and they did not move so we're good. The other thing I can try to do, can I put this in yet? I might have to make another trip, but we're going to try to put this on top. Now one thing, if you get over the cab or if you get too high, sometimes those things will fall off, but that stayed. So looks like we have all of our belongings here ready to go. Oh, you know what? I do need... Let's just see if we can unload some of our stuff here. All right, I have a gear, extra tire, sewing kits. Did I see matches? I guess not. Leaves. I want to keep the branches. All right, there are some glass bottles. I'm going to go ahead and put, um, well, we can stack that ammo, that ammo that I don't need. I've already got that, and I've already got an M4, so I don't need that. Let's go ahead and store some stuff in here. Matches, a saw. Drugs, battery, a full sewing kit, shotgun shells. I'm going to go ahead and put the empty water bottle away. Spare food. I need that. All right, I think we're good. All right, what time is it? It's only four o'clock. You know what? If you break these down, you get all of your material back. So let's go ahead and break these down. Bring it with us. All right. I'll be back when this is done, guys. All right. Let's go ahead and bail out of here. I am going to save. So let's go, oh, these stumps are a pain in the butt. All right, so I want to just drive around.
All right, that goes back up to the main road, circles to the left by the lake, and then comes out behind the garage that we were at earlier. Now this, as I said, circles back around by the barns. This one right here is the one, I believe, with the zombies in it. So, we, and I use these power pylons as my, kind of my, you know, guiding arrow, so to speak. All right, there used to be two houses right up in here. Is that a house we can build at? I don't think so. But there used to be two, and there used to be a bear right in there, too. Um, actually, I believe we can build there. Yes, we can. Let's take a look at it. Eh, nothing in here. Anything that has this little white icon is a place that we can build. Ooh, another axe. Um, I don't know that there's a whole lot we can do here. So, you know what? I'm going to keep looking. It says there's a bear up this way. What I'm looking for now are those ranger towers. Oh, there's a chicken there. There it is. This is the ranger tower I don't think I could find. <laughs> Probably because I'm blind. And if there is a bear... Uh, let's see. Nothing upstairs. All right, we do have a suitcase, so we're going to take that. Nothing in those drawers. Unfortunately, you can't take the filing cabinets, but we do have a suitcase here. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and drop it out as far as I can. Now, let's see. So this is... I came in from that way. All right. I'm just trying to get the lay of the land. Uh, that white thing out there, that's a chicken. If you kill them, you can cook the meat. You can get... Uh, you can get feathers off of it, and I am just trying to make sure I don't run into a, uh, a bear out here. Uh, nope, that fell. Darn it. I think that's fine. And... It did stay good. All right. Oh, I learned from Cage. It's always a good idea to save your game before you drive. Um, we've got a camp here. There's the tower. I think that's the tower I was never able to find. Oh, wait, no, that is where I want to be. Ah! Yeah, and there are bears at this one somewhere. Don't know where. They cannot get up the steps, so this is actually a pretty defensive area. And I don't know if there's much, much in the way of undead. I've never built near one of these towers. Might be an interesting idea. The bear would certainly give us close food support. Ah, there it is. And you know what? If we're going to work up here, this could be... I'm going to leave those just in case. I kind of like the idea here, guys. Let's take a look outside. So we can't make this a base. So what we're going to have to do is in our build button, 
we're going to have to build cabins. So we have a small cabin. We've got the one floor cabin, the two floor cabin, and then the hunting cabin. The difference between these two, this actually has a livable second floor, and they both take 96 hours to build forever. I mean forever. So I tend to build a lot of the uh, small cabins or the hunting, you know, like one hunting cabin uh, for like a workshop area. And then I build small cabins around it for them to live in. And then I can live up here if I wanted to, because I can live wherever I want. Now, question is, we've got a little flat area there. So we could probably build a cabin and nothing can come up the rocks, I don't think. So that would be like a defensive area. And we could clear out these trees and we could build like a big hunting cabin like midway between here and that base. And then let's go take a look at that base. And again, I'm just kind of leery about the, the bear. But this is a pretty flat area. Hell, we could even make Scott sleep outside, right? We can even get up here to take sniper shots. Uh, we've got an area back here. I think those are just, you can destroy those, I think. We can build probably a small cabin there. We can build one right out there. Kind of, you know, this would be a radio antenna maybe if we wanted to role play. You know, or we could build cabins around that and then build a wall perimeter and hopefully keep the bear outside. I think that's a good idea. Now, it won't take place overnight. Uh, this is gonna, you know, all the building takes developmental time resources and what have you all right let's just check no we cannot destroy these but you know what that gives us a defensive perimeter to build eh. all right well if we're going to do that then All right, so what I want to do is I've got enough for six of these. All right. So we're going to come off of that. Um, you know what? I think I do want to go a third one out. And we'll cancel that one. We'll put in a gate there. And then we will come up this way. Come on, man. Get on there. We're just going to kind of work this in. Like that? Kind of like it. And I'm looking for the bear. Because <laughs> there is a bear around here. Six thirty. I can't see. Oh, my 
my God, are we going to be able to finish it completely? Hell yes. All right, so we should be impervious now to being attacked. No zombies can get up here. We've got the area. We can come out and fight the bear. I've got a knife, yes. All right, so we are going to... Let's head upstairs. And I want to make... two spears, which will take 40 minutes total. And we're going to eat. Hopefully that'll be enough to get us through the night. Um, yeah, I kind of like this. We can keep our food up here, I think, right? So I'm going to keep a Coke. I'm going to keep a bottle of water, and then this will be, okay, here's a question. If I put stuff in here, will it disappear? I don't know, because that does respawn. I'm going to say yes. So we don't want to, what we want to do then is we want to, Funny, it's made out of metal and all it gives you is wood. All right, I can't do anything with that or that. That's okay though. So we're going to put our medication in there, some odds and ends, just that we don't need right now. Oh, hello. Let's grab one of our spears. We'll put it in our axe slot. We'll save. All right, I don't think anything can hit me in this corner. I may want to enlarge that at some point. Ah, hello. Okay. Uh, that's a tip. I lear learned that from uh, Game Edge. When you're going to loot them, click and drag it. Don't do the loot all because the loot all has a hard timer. And if you get attacked during that time, you're screwed. So I don't know how many undead come out here. So, you know, one of the things you do like to do is, is farm the undead because they drop gunpowder, a lot of stuff that you need. But I'm going to go ahead and go up here. And you know what? Let's call it an episode. I'm going to go ahead and try to sleep through the night for a good seven hours. And guys, We'll see you next episode. Hit that like button, subscribe if you don't mind. And uh, hey, look at the view from up here. You know, we get to wake up, look at the view. Oh, too bad we can't get to that. Look at the view. And those power lines, uh, the mine is right over in that area there. And there's also a neighborhood over there, I think. So... Let's go down just real quick, see if we can spot the little bear. He usually walks his way up the road here, but it's hard to tell. Don't see him out there. Well, but that's a good ending spot today. Uh, we are hungry and thirsty, so I do need to get some foodstuffs. And I think... We're going to figure out where to put our first cabin. So I'm going to do that off camera. I want to get a small one here just to have some storage, right? I think is what I want to do. So anyway, we'll see you guys next episode. Take care. Bye.